All right, we'll come back to Let's Play Consortium. Holocom now and is acting... well, you'll have to come see for yourselves. Bishop 6, please report to mission operations. Exactly, no. Let's see... Get to mission of the no secondary. Gonna miss that guy. How? Who the hell knows? this guy one sixty four I think it was sixty two sixty four zero oh. Oh, that's it spell it who is picking they're speaking about me I hear you we can wait. We can wait. Oh, here he is now. You see? I'm not trying to play any games here. Ooh. I'm only trying to prevent this from turning ugly. Again. Good. Good. This is very good. And how is Bishop Six? You are feeling strong, I hope. Ready for your first day? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you are funny. I think I'm going to like you. Enough posturing. Either tell me what you want or get out of our way. <laughs> you have no idea what is happening here. Poor little girl. Your king must be blind. Did we not just go through this song and dance a month ago? And did your daddy not give you a good spanking for it? My father will not be coming to your rescue this time, knight. Come now, Carol. It's Christmas. How about you let us pass, and we'll get this another time. I promise. How does next Tuesday look for you? Mm, listen very carefully. You will land and surrender your warship immediately. If you do not, I will blow you out of the sky. You've got to be kidding me. Give me a minute to confer with my people. Clearly you do not understand. Comply now, or I will take Zemlil from you by force. A minute, Carol. That is not a request. One, will you please inform local authorities of our location and to expect possible plane debris to follow? I'm already on it, sir. There is a hope. Can you see now why I've called you all here? Oh, yep. yes. He's probably just blowing smoke. But there's an edge to him I've not seen before. I mean, he's usually hopped up on himself, but never has he outright threatened to kill us. It's no Let's kill them all. Attempt at revenge for what Bishop Eight did. He appears to be rather unintelligent as well. Or is this an illusion? The subject of his intelligence is one of constant debate around here. Well, I think he's not only stupid, but also irrational and hard-headed. A nasty combination for someone in his position of power. It's very deceiving, though. The use of old planes to stay under the radar. His bravado. The love his mm -hmm. men have for him. I think it's a very intelligent role he plays to feed his all-encompassing ego and get what he wants. You give him far too much credit. <laughs> well, you'll just have to wait and find out. One of my majors in university was, after all, criminal psychology. Now, let's see if I can't deflate his bloated ego a little. Put him back on. Angelov is right. no longer transmitting. Wait a second. Sorry, boss, we got company. <laughs> Looks like a... Well, it's a bloody boarded carrier. And it's only a few hundred meters behind us. No. How did it get so close? Eh. I can't explain it. It just came out of nowhere. And it's also emitting some kind of scrambler signal. Uh, I can't get more. What the hell is... I've detected two new incoming F-35s. One's a few kilometers behind the other. There's a... There's a gathering energy source of some kind coming from the lead fighter. He's seven kilometers off the port side now and he's closing fast. What? Five kilometers. If I could just bypass the carrier signal to regain targeting control. You better make it quick. There is so no are weird. way he's that stupid. I've almost got it. Three kilometers. Oh, there it is. What the hell is that thing? Wait, the Habitat 5124 incident. I think what? this is the same delivery system Stormbird reported. Dive. Wade. 
She'll hold that lock. I bet my life on it. Uh, what the? We may have ourselves a problem. Must have. Oh, Where's the second minutes. fighter, Wade? Talk to me! I can't see a bloody thing, boss. Not a bloody thing! Guys, you may want to... Oh, shite! Get oh, down. I'm already dead. Should have Is everyone all right back here? Please, hurry. We've got two down and a room riddled with bullet holes. What the hell just happened? I haven't got an answer, Terry. I'm sorry. No bullet in existence can penetrate Tenlo's plating. It just doesn't make any sense. Just relax, Wade. We need you focused. Now, tell me about your girl. How badly is she hurt? Yes, sir. It looks like she's broke a bloody back. We've got major shipwide failures. Our weapons, primary engines, cargo containment unit. Great. They're all out. There goes the okay, plane. Wade. I want our primaries back online, and I'd also like to be able to shoot at the bad guys. Half an hour for primaries, 15 to 20 minutes for manual weapons. Just do the best you can, and do it fast. Yes, yes. Please report to lower Six, be prepared to aid Rook-9 in defending this ship. Good. Let's hope it won't be necessary. All right. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's hear what he has to say for himself. Wait, let me save. For once, I would like to get on a ship that does not get immediately destroyed. All right. Now are you prepared to surrender? That works. <laughs> the ridiculous act, for God's sake! This is not like you. You just shot up two of my people with that little stunt, and if you think even for a second that you're going to get away with that, you have another thing coming. Tell me something. How does the cold hand of death feel as it takes its grip around your throat? That's I think I can stall him for a little bit, but we need a better plan than this. Have you completely lost your mind? If you oh. destroy this vessel, you'll only bring hey, the whole Bishop. might of the consortium down on you. I'd say it's pretty simple. Lost we stall long mind. enough to fix our guns, and then we flip his arse back to mercenary oh, oblivion. Carol's yeah. temper will never give us enough time. I have grown to enjoy your company. Can I do something? Let him use the boarding carrier. Excuse me. Say that again, Kieran. We let him use the carrier. When he boards, we simply separate the head from the snake. And when only his men board us instead, Kieran has a point. If we pretend to surrender, Kieran might just fall for it. And I bet my life on him boarding himself. Oh, she can talk. And think different things at the same time. <laughs> that was my the same question. Now is not the time. Remind me what later. The hell? Right. So we let him think he's one, and the rest should fall into place. To anger me in the hopes that I will what? Make a mistake. You make a mistake. Like when you got hijacked running. What was it? Five tons of black market ex-gone materials from Lebanon to Baghdad. Those murderous Syrian and Iraqi mercenary groups chasing you, they sure didn't like you being in their airspace, did they? <laughs> that sort of sounds familiar, doesn't it? I will only put up with so much disrespect, Knight. I'm sorry, Carol. Really. But you do have me in an extremely difficult position here. <laughs> and so we come full circle. To the point. You will inform your Rook-9 that he is to land Zenlil at the coordinates I have already given you. Run along now and do what you are told. But we don't have enough fuel to reach the coordinates you have given us. Your EMP killed our primaries, and I'm assuming that you will never let a refueling ship anywhere near us. If you'll only listen to me for two minutes, I think I have a solution. Do your crew a favor and stop speaking. Let the men talk. All right. Bishop Six. May I speak to you for a moment? Just a little chat before your night forces me to shoot you down. This is good. A sensible bishop for once. And let you and I focus This on is no negotiation. And did I not just tell you to stop speaking? So, bishop, all of this excitement on your first day you must be feeling a little overwhelmed. Keep him talking, Six, and don't make him angry. Ah, 
poor little bishop. Let's see now. You've been really awoken by Room 25. Your new plane has been malfunctioning all morning. Bon One over there hates you. What How else? did you know? You want me to cut to the chase? How about you tell your people about Bon 7's untimely demise? It's not hmm, very concerning for you to lie to them. <laughs> so you've not told your bonds. Why don't you have someone take a look inside what was once Bishop Aid's cabin? Do not Ready. look to her for permission. Look at me. It's okay, my team. I... well, I can go look myself. It'll only take a minute. You will not leave this room. You will call another bond to look, now. And put them on the loudspeaker. Hmm. Is that you, 19? A weird way to... Why are you calling me the Leave a bit. Hmm. Please don't ask me any questions. Can you just do me a huge favor and go look inside the old cabin? No one is listening to the captain. How's well? Sure, of course. Give me just a few minutes. Wade, go ahead and unlock the cabin for her. It's done. Alright, Carol. Now that you've stirred up even more trouble, let's get to it, shall we? What can we do to make you go away? Go away? But we were just getting started! Cameras, Bishop. Those who hired me have managed to install spy cameras and sound equipments within your vessel. I can see into every room. Tell me he's making that up. He is absolutely lying, boss. It is impossible. You are smarter than you look. We both know it would be impossible to install such equipment on that vessel. Yet, instead of simply denying it... You, you have a mole, yes. We're not idiots. Interesting tactic. Move along. It does not answer how I know about the dead pawn, does it? Keep it up, Six. You're doing great. Yeah, great. Can we save again? Because we're gonna affect the sub. I'm pretty sure. Can you just have one save for quick save, one save for auto save? No? Okay then. Let me try to find my own save somewhere. Save your breath. And six. Play along. See where this goes. Quite right. I do not. Someone aboard that vessel has been anonymously feeding me information since this morning. Now that is an absolute load of nonsense. But keep it up. I think he's starting to like you. I don't know about that. But it is likely, yes. Whoever it is has been paid very, very well for this. As have I. And they are no doubt terrified of failing. Mm, I do not feel fear, Bishop. I only believe these people to be a much greater threat to my business. 
The mm -hmm. consortium follows a predictable set of rules and are easy to avoid when necessary. This enemy of yours, however, have no rules of engagement, and I am proof of their willingness to resort to cheap tricks. Enough! I have reached my limit, Angelo. I won't let you poison my crew any longer. That's interesting. You have a decision to make. You can destroy us, you can board us and try your hand against our bishop, or you can bloody well listen to what I have to say. What's it going to be? I was hoping I could make you this angry. Something about <laughs> English women with authority in their voice. It makes me tingle all over. Make your decision! I am in a good mood. The bishop here has certainly amused me enough. Let me hear your proposal. Let's right. evacuate onto a mission pod. We'll happily leave the area and hand Zen will open. What do you say? Under one condition. The bishop must stay on board and surrender to me. We have much to discuss, he and I. Are you serious? I am not about to hand you my bishop on a bloody platter. I could just tell my men to open fire on you right now. What do you say, bishop? Will you surrender sure, to me? You don't know the meaning of being peaceful. <laughs> yes, that is absolutely right. I don't. And if you don't surrender to me without incident, you all die. You think about that, Bishop, when you decide to deceive me. So it seems, little knight, that we have ourselves a deal. I will give you five minutes to do as I say and evacuate all but the Bishop. Five minutes, and I want you off that ship. Wade, will you please prepare mission part one? Set it for autopilot towards island, and... And let us save again. Just keep quick saving, but better safe than sorry. We'll pick it up when we're done here. No problem, boss. Right. Already standing by. Go ahead and load it with enough junk from the cargo containment unit to simulate our combined weight. That's nice touch, sir. Very nice. That annoys me that doesn't pause when you go to the inventory. Scan for life signs. <laughs> okay, Captain Picard. Do you want us to go to warp speed while we're at it? <laughs> what I think she means, Six, is that such technology does not exist. Oops. Tell me lockdown systems are up and running. Oops, they are. What's up? Everyone in here then. All Alana, show the bishop what we've got for Yes, sir. We do have ourselves an emergency weapons locker. In there, you'll find a couple weapons to choose from. You don't hurry this up. They're positioning that carrier just behind our tail. Damn, he's impatient. Yep. Okay, launch mission pod one now. Mission pod one is away, and it looks like two of them are following it. That sound, ladies and gentlemen, is the sound of a boarding carrier tearing a hole through our hull. It's showtime. Just remember, Six. Disarm and surrender to his men. When Kirill comes aboard to gloat, that is when you arm up and take him out. Right, can I get two weapons? Guess not. So, either get the non lethal weapons or the lethal weapons. We'll try the non lethal weapons. And we will save. Again. I have a habit to save a lot. I owe you my life. Yeah, you do. You like me now, don't you? <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, not really. Not anyway. Better than before. What is the mission? Take the series up into the lounge. Alright. Disarm yourself immediately. Do what he says. Disarm, that kid will come to you. Uh, that is better. Now do right. not move. Sir, Itch. we have the bishop and he appears to be surrendering. Excellent. Hold your position. I'm on my way. If you so have a seat. Do you know 
what to do. Can you stop talking when I trying to look my time? No. I don't. What about here? No idea. Katok? Can I do anything with it? Uh, protecting uh, deflects most energy weapons and Equip more than for greater protection. Now you tell me. Well, ready. I am on board. Bring the bishop to me immediately. Yes, sir. We are coming. Any more time, Kiro. Let us finish this before it's too late. In due time, my little underling. We have plenty of time. Now that we are, well, mostly alone, I wanted to speak with you, man to man. Hmm. This whole ordeal has made me very curious about you. Uh, Alright, this is getting long. More on the next video.